sorry about the setup. I'm just doing a quick video about flat earth and the globe earth. We've, we, from birth, have been made to believe, right, that we're on a spinning globe, okay? I'm using this only as the globe. And we are spinning at 1,038 miles an hour, right? I'm not going to do a science uh, video where I, I give you figures and facts and all that lot and numbers. I want it to be a common sense video of this. And my common sense is saying that we do not live on a spinning globe, right? And do you know why? Because the first thing that got me, well, the most important thing for me is the water. As we all know, water finds its own level, right? I can assure you right now, under no circumstances, can water bend, curve or stick to the outside of any globe. Now they're saying there were chunks out of it. So even if I took chunks out of it and poured water on, but spun it at 1,038 miles an hour, that water will just fly off. It won't stick. And then you come out with this gravity thing. Okay. That gravity is mysteriously pinning all them trillions of tons of ocean down onto a globe. Okay. That force is so immense to keep those trillions of tons of oceans in place, locked and bent and curved, Right, yet we can still walk freely, and yet a, a fly or a butterfly can float. Sugar stealers can float in the air in summer's day. Do you know what I mean? Bits of grass floats on a, on a little bit of a breeze. Does gravity not like those things? Does it not work for them? You see, you globeds, you love all that, right? Your facts, your figures, your bullshit science, but when it comes to common fucking sense, you hate it. You shy away from it. You have no answer for it. None. If you're saying gravity pins everything, right, including water, to the earth, and Australia is now upside down, right, and it all goes in motion of the earth, that's what you always say, it all goes in motion of the earth. You won't feel it spinning, it's so irrelevant through the distance times the mass, all that science and mass bullshit you were fucking spoon fed at school. Let me just tell you something. If I jumped up and you're going 1,000 miles an hour, by the time I fucking landed, I should be in Bolton or Burnley. But I'm not, I'm still here. Right? So then you say, well, you go with the motion of the earth. Well, if that's the case, I should be able to jump in the air, take a video, a quick video, and see a time lapse of the, of the earth rotating. Because 1,000 miles an hour is not quick, you know. It's not fast. They do 240 mile an hour in a Formula 1 car and their heads are pinned back to the car like that. Right? We can't feel any motion. Do you know what I mean? 1,000 mile an hour, that's nothing. That's nothing. That's no speed at all. But you'd still feel it. You'd still feel it. Uh, but it, what, I, what my point is, if I jumped up and it's only going 1,000 miles an hour and the circumference is, what, 24,000 miles an hour, uh, you get what I'm saying now? I should feel... I should land somewhere else, shouldn't I? Because that 1,000 mile an hour will not bring me back to the same place. So then you say, no, but when you jump, you go with the motion of the earth. How ridiculous does that sound? Because that brings the clouds into everything, you know. Because I've always said, when the earth's spinning, like that, are the clouds mysteriously velcroed? And they say, all you globe edges, you say, yeah. It, uh, it goes with the motion of the earth. What's this motion of the earth shit? This magical where everything's pinned to the rotation. It doesn't make sense. It, it, in fact, it, it, it throws itself in the face of science and physics. Nothing makes sense. But on a flat, unmovable plane, everything makes sense. We don't have to prove anything. I pour water on the earth, it will find its own level. Okay? We have gutters for when it rains and then it goes down the drain pipe. Gravity doesn't fucking pin it like that to me gutter. Water falls, it don't go uh, and fr I can't move, Jim, 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 I can't move. Gravity's got me again. It's got me as well. Doesn't work like that, does it? You can't have one rule for one thing and then another for another. If gravity was such this force, a waterfall would be pinned to the mountainside now. Streams would be locked in place like they were iced over. Think about what I'm saying. 
All this motion of the earth. That's the bullshit they spoon fed you since birth. I might be rambling. I might be getting myself all mixed up. But I know what I'm on about. It's common fucking sense. I don't have to prove anything. Flat earth is done. We don't feel any motion, any movement. Right? 1,000 mile an hour and you go, poof, your head's flattened back into the seat. Have you been on that round up on the fur? It's only doing about 100 mile an hour and you fucking can't move. Because of the G-force, not the gravity or anything like the G-force of the spin. Now, that's what would happen if we were all spinning. But we've got this magic around us. That's the only thing you globe heads have got. This magical bit of atmosphere we've got around us. Like we're encased in a, a globe, like we're encased in something. Right? Now, this leads me on to another thing. This is why you're all hypocrites. You say, no, but we're locked into our atmosphere. So you're seeing it like an hypothetical barrier, aren't you? From the thing is a space. But we've all been brought up on space films, right? Where they go out and, they, and it's one prick in their in the, in the, uh, space suit and it, <laughs> their eyes bulge out and they, they fucking explode because of the vacuum of space. The pressure of it. Have you ever dived down into the sea? The deeper you go and your ears start to pop. That's only a few feet. We're talking about thousands of light years, apparently, of space. The vacuum and the pressure, why doesn't it just go, <whistles> suck our little atmosphere out there? Why? Is our atmosphere so, is it made of fucking like the most unbelievably strong thing known in the universe? Nothing can penetrate it. Listen, you've got to shake these shackles off from your brainwashing from birth. It's impossible. Water cannot stick to outside of a round thing. Any object, I'll pour water on that now, it'll just drip off. And no matter how much I spin it, it'll just spin off. The water will spin off. It'll be dry in no time. That's why you dry your clothes and a spin dry, you fucking idiots. This is what does me head in, though. You think you can't even use the senses you were born with. When you look up and you see a plane flying in the sky, all I see on a summer's day is a checkerboard of contrails, all up, game trails, all over the sky, right? Perfectly straight lines, perfect, like a checkerboard, right? Perfect. Now, if there was if there was curvature, then planes, you'd see, dipping, 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 because I can watch them for hundreds of miles, right? Especially with binoculars or anything, a telescope. I never see a dip, it's just perfectly straight. Wouldn't they be flying off to space with the curvature of the Earth? Wouldn't they? So that plane would literally have to be dipping every second, every two seconds. Dip, 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 dip. Pilot would be like, ah, fucking, okay, I'm getting pissed off with this because of the speed he's doing. See, you see how ludicrous it is, a spinning globe? This is how brainwashed you've been. It, it's, it's ludicrous, honestly. I can pour water and water will find its own level. Right? That's why it's called sea level. It levels out, does water. Anybody can show me a working model, right, in, in, in relation to the size of the earth, any model whatsoever, any size, and we'll pour water on it and get it spin, and let's see if that water sticks, bends, curves, and sticks to it. Yeah? And then we'll make a model of a, a city out of cardboard boxes if you want. You know, we'll scale it down in relation to the earth, and we'll spin it around. Let's see what happens. Right? You lot have been that brainwashed. It's unbelievable. But the people who say it's unmoving were all the all the facts. Right, just a quick one for this part two. I'm sorry about part one, it got cut off. But it gave me a few seconds to think about this. You'll see in the comments below, right? It'll say, um, 500 years ago, people thought it was flat. And then they woke up. You know, and they stopped being stupid and realised it were a globe. Nah, what they did 500 years ago was change it to suit their agenda, right? Even that long ago, this has been in fruition, right? The, the, the con has been going for hundreds of years, believe it, right? Thousands upon thousands of years before, right? Every race and creed knew the earth was flat. Everyone, right? They drew the best they could of maps, the best they could, although they didn't have the technology we're blessed with these days, but they all drew more or less the same picture, the same map. Four rivers running into the centre of the earth where all compasses point to, 
right? That's where the whole compass is pointed to, is a hole at the centre of the flat earth plane, right? Where your four rivers flow in. Your aurora borealis comes out, right? That's another story. But listen to me, for thousands of years, people knew the earth was flat. And it's only till a few hundred years they changed the agenda. Not because they found out it was a globe. It's not a globe. They changed it for their own agenda. I just thought I'd clear that up.